Kelly from Dr. Kelly's Comics. I collected comics in the 80s and early 90s, and about a year ago I started going through several long boxes that I've been lugging around the country for the last 30 years. After a little time, I figured I'd start selling things on eBay, try to make a little money to support the venture of getting back into uh, collecting again. And have have been selling on eBay uh, for about a year. Uh, I also spent a lot of time on YouTube watching videos. I watched a lot of Bueller and I watched a lot of Comic Tom, and their videos really helped me get caught up a little. So I thought I'd start to generate some of my own content. If you know these guys, you know that both of them have a, a, a kind of a mystery grab bag type box uh, that they do. Comic Tom does the mystery mail call, and Bueller does the Bueller box through eBay. This video is going to be about my first Bueller box. And I'll be unboxing, um, well, figure, you know, figuratively unboxing it. I'm, I hate watching people unbox things. I don't like watching people open boxes for 45 seconds on YouTube. I thought this was a great box. Now, I also want to point out that Bueller has several videos on YouTube, including videos which tell you how he gets the inventory for his Bueller boxes. Um, I don't know him. He doesn't pay me. Um, I really don't know anybody in the industry. You know, he doesn't send me cars. He doesn't um, send me anything like that or flowers or or whatever. Uh, if you wanted to send me a yacht with lasers, that would be okay. Here's a quick rundown of the first Bueller box I received. Uh, the box was about 14 bucks and 19 bucks with tax and shipping. Uh, it comes with 11 comics. Uh, the comics are all bagged and boarded. They're well packaged. And he talks about, as I said, how he gets the inventory for these boxes and where he gets the deals from on his videos. So I'll put some links down below uh, to, so you can see his videos and how he sources these boxes. So with no further ado, here we go with the Beeler box. Okay, so the first comic in the box, these are in no particular order, except for maybe the last two. Uh, the first comic in the box is Star Wars Age of Resistance, General Hux number one. Uh, it's a 2019 one-shot with a cover by Phil Noto. Uh, the basic story is General Hux and Kylo Ren, the best of friends, have to work together after crash landing on a distant planet. And they're such close friends that everything works out really well. And it's an excellent comic about teamwork. No, I'm just kidding. There's a lot of conflict between the two of them. They go on. This was a great book. I enjoyed it. Um, I like the Star Wars uh, saga uh, things. I enjoyed all the movies. Uh, well, most of the movies. And, uh, and I think this is a good addition to the kind of to the saga. The second comic book is Redlands. Uh, it's Redlands number nine by Image. Uh, since I've been out of the world for a while, the title's kind of new to me. Uh, according to Comic Book Realm, and I'll put a link down below, uh, the series ran from 2017 to 2019. The story takes place in Redlands, Florida. A coven of witches plot to take everything from the community, and scary mayhem occurs. Uh, this is the only book from the series that I've read, and it looks good. It's definitely a suspense horror tone with some adult language. Uh, the art is great, and I'm looking forward to checking out more issues from the title. Book 3, Year of the Villain, Black Mask 1. Not the Year of the Villain where everybody thought Punchline, or Punchline, show, Punchline did show up. Uh, so it's a little bit... Uh, not that one, but it's still, still a pretty good book. The book follows one of Gotham's big crime lords after he gets out of the Teen Titans secret prison. Uh, this one helped me catch up just a little bit on some of these stories. Uh, some backstories provided, a little Lex Luthor, Batwoman, and all sorts of fun. Okay, the next book is Batman vs. Ra's al Ghul. Uh, I was kind of excited to see this one because I knew the villain. Uh, in it from the movie, so it didn't take me quite as much to get caught up with this one. It's number one, 
of a six-issue miniseries. Uh, in this book, uh, Gotham, Terrorists, Deceit, and an Unlikely Alliance. Oh wait, that's a different Batman. I think it's the one with Adam West. No, wait, it's this one. Um, the series began near the end of 2019, and I don't think this entire miniseries is out yet. Uh, the artwork is awesome, and the next time I fit, visit my uh, LCS, I'll look for the rest of the issues. The next book is Batman Dark Knight 3 Master Race Book 1. The D cover. I thought this was kind of cool because this is a 1 in 10 incentive cover by Jill Thompson. I thought it was pretty cool to have a really inexpensive box and and get an incentive cover. Uh, and, you know, I thought that was that was pretty awesome. Uh, it's not the highest value version of the book, but nevertheless, it's quite cool. Uh, several of these are on sale on eBay, and I saw a CGC 9.8 sold a couple of months ago for about 40 bucks. Uh, the best offer was accepted, so it was a little bit less than that. But anyway, this is a pretty cool thing to get. So Bueller, if you're watching, thanks for watching and subscribe. Uh, the next book, Electric Wars, issue one of a six issue DC miniseries. Mini I didn't get into this one too much. Uh, didn't didn't read much, but it looks like to me it's a post-apocalyptic intergalactic warrior challenge with uh, Superman's cape. So maybe it's like a capture the flag thing and Superman's cape set in the future is it. Okay, the next one is my favorite superhero, Friendly Neighborhood Spider-Man number three. The cover is awesome, and while he is my favorite hit hero. I haven't had a chance to read this one yet, uh, but I figured if anybody knows any heroes, everybody knows Spider-Man, so can't be bad, right? Maybe. Next book, The Savage Sword of Conan, number two. I love the Conan movies. I love Schwarzenegger. I love Schwarzenegger in the Conan movies, and I love that he didn't have to speak very much in the Conan movies. I'm just kidding. I love the accent, too. Uh, it was... The movies were awesome. The older comics uh, that I collected back in the day were awesome. I loved them. I followed them and uh, was a big fan of them. I enjoyed this book. I was a little bit lost, though. Uh, the, the reviews I read were pretty strong, so I think I just need some background with what's going on. I think I need the first issue to get through and really get everything that's happening. Okay, the next book on the list is Red Goblin Red Death number one from October 2019. Of course, I was happy to get this one. It's another Spider-Man spin kind of a thing, and Spider-Man's my favorite hero. It's hard to beat Norman, the Carnage born Carnage Osborn. I haven't read it yet. I'm looking forward to reading it. It's on my read list. Teen Titans 24 is the next issue, and amazingly enough, it's another variant. This is the Variant B cover by Alex Garner. Uh, I enjoyed going through the book. The villain is the other, and the Teen Titans are trapped. This book looks great, looks great on the shelf. Uh, the colors on the cover are awesome. And I'm really excited. This is the second variant that showed up in the Bueller box. So the last book of the 11 that came when the was uh, Power Pack Grow Up number one, August 2019. I was really happy to get this book. In the 80s, I started collecting this series when it came out. I didn't stick with it very long. I had the first 15 issues or so. Um, and I didn't really read it. I just thought the concept was pretty good. Unfortunately, last year when I started selling comics, uh, the first thing, the first title I pulled out to sell was Power Pack. They went in my first big group of comics that I dumped on eBay for sale. And of course, issue number one sold. And that was before I found out or had heard that Marvel uh, Studios was developing the title. So that's the 11 books. Here's what they have in common. They're all in great shape. 
The package was solid and they were all bagged and boarded. There are very few error or uh, blemishes on these comics, if any. Um, I mean, they really do look like they're fresh, like they're, you know, just out, out of the store, and most of them are. A couple of nights ago, because of all the stuff we're going through, I tuned in to a Bueller live stream, and during the show, he let viewers know he only had two Bueller boxes left. So, naturally, I went and I bought one of the two right there on the spot. As most of you know, pandemic measures, uh, safety measures have caused a ton of LCSs to close, Diamond suspended distribution, and we are more or less in limbo right now when it comes to comics. But due to this, Bueller's not able to source his boxes. That's, that's what I got out of the video with him. Um, but he has a ton of great content. So if you haven't seen Bueller's videos, I'll have a link down below to his YouTube channel. Um, I'll also have a link to Bob because his buddy Bob and, and the two of them, they do this uh, uh, coffee with Bueller thing in the morning. It's awesome. I hope Bueller knows that um, a bunch of us are out here looking forward to seeing the coffee with Bob and, and all of that stuff in the future. Uh, when things return to normal, when he's able to source again, and we're looking forward to that next live stream as well. I've got three mystery mail call boxes to go through, and I'm going to try to cram them into one video, maybe two, that I hope to have out in the next week, so I can talk about the Tomic, <laughs> the Tomic Com, the Comic Tom uh, mystery mail call boxes. I love these boxes too. Uh, these are both great boxes. I've, I've bought a, I wouldn't say a ton, but I've bought several uh, random lots and, and things like this on there. These are the only two that I've opened and thought, man, I was glad to get everything that came in the box. Uh, all the comics were in fantastic shape. And uh, and I feel like the, the content that both of these guys put out really lends to the validity or really supports the quality of the product they're putting out. So I think that's a really important thing. If you buy a lot on eBay, and you can find a YouTube content producer that's putting out quality stuff with a lot of followers and shoot straight, which both of these guys do, then I feel a lot more comfortable buying, giving these guys my money or buying product from them uh, because I, I kind of trust them a little bit more than I would somebody I've not met on eBay which is another reason I'm doing the videos. You guys will subscribe and follow me on YouTube. You can find uh, Dr. Kell's Comics on Facebook, and you can find Dr. Kell's Comics on Instagram. Uh, I'll be getting a Twitter page up here pretty soon. Uh, right now, I'm having a big sale on eBay, uh, but it's all bargain bin stuff, and it's not in as good a shape as the stuff these guys send out. Uh, these are really just readers, so if you're interested in some readers, I've got a bunch of them up and, uh, and a big sale on them right now. Hey everybody, thanks so much for tuning in. Uh, if you don't mind, don't forget to like and subscribe. Check out the links below. One of my next projects is also going to be reviewing some music. The Doctor and Dr. Kell's Comics is a doctor in musical arts, and I was a bassist for quite some time and professor. So I'm going to review Tomorrow, which is a, a Dark Horse comic. Uh, it's one of a five-issue miniseries, and there are some great musical references. If you know of any jazz, blues, or classical references in comic books, uh, drop them in the comments below. I'll see if I can find it and uh, I'll put it on my list.